Today I'm making Harley Quinn's hammer for a short film I'm working on. For this build, you'll need PVC or a dowel rod, EVA foam, white glue, hot glue, paint, a marker, a respirator mask, goggles, sponge brushes, a rotary tool, scissors, razor pens, or a box cutter. Start by tracing four circles onto EVA foam using the bottom of a bucket. Cut them out. Cut a piece of thin EVA foam, any length that you want, but make sure that length is the same as the circumference of the circles. The mallet that I'm familiar with is wooden, so draw tree rings on two of the circles and add something that Harley would draw or rather carve. Use a marker to draw a wood pattern on the smooth side of the foam. Use the other two circles and scrap foam as internal supports and glue them to the pattern side of the foam. Now if you can find a cardboard tube or something like that that's the same diameter that you want then you might want to consider just gluing the EVA foam to the outside of that because if you put too much ribbing in there then you might be able to see it on the outside. But keep in mind anything that goes on the inside of this mallet is going to make it heavier and more awkward to wield. Attach flanges, we are eventually going to have to close the seam. While waiting for the hot glue to set, I use my rotary tool with narrow bits to carve out the tree rings and the designs on either end of the hammer. I closed up the hammer body and then sanded away the pattern while waiting for more hot glue to set. I put in these support struts. I tried a different shim arrangement for the other side. Glue in the end caps. The handle isn't glued in yet, it's just so I could get this shot. Use a rotary tool to create trenches along the lines you drew earlier. This will simulate the look of tree bark. It'll also get you funny looks from your teaching assistants who wander around in the background of your shot. Rob. I made splits in the ends of the hammer with my rotary tool to simulate the look of a segment of a tree trunk. Glue in the handle. You want to do this really fast just so that you can make sure it's in straight before the glue hardens. Because if you have to rip it out of there, then you could damage the foam. I added that little bit of foam for detail and also to hide the jagged cut I made for the hole. Seal it in many layers of white glue before you paint it. I go into more detail about why and how you should do this in the flamethrower tutorial so if you're confused about that then just check that out. Paint the bark dark brown. Use the brush strokes to simulate wood grain. Paint the end caps tan. When the paint's dry it'll come out matte instead of glossy. Touch up the end caps once the darker paint is dry. Color in the designs on each side. Now if you're building this for a con you might want to think about using a two-cell color mixing technique to create depth inside the wood grain on both the end caps and the bark. But I'm making this for film and a lot of times I find that I'll put a lot of extra effort into detail like that and it won't even show up on camera. So I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is for now. And that's how you make Harley Quinn's hammer. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, then you can subscribe and click send me updates to find out about new tutorials. You can also help out the channel by visiting my Patreon page. Right now, the proceeds for that are going towards a Harley Quinn themed test film for this prop and for her pop gun that I built last week. You can see that tutorial as well as others right here. Okay, that's, that's everything. Jake out.